Hi, I'm here today. I'm going to talk to you about uh, the oil cooler modification for the Yamaha YX600, um, the Radian. Um, doing an oil cooler modification, which on the Radian you're not modifying an oil cooler, you're adding an oil cooler. Um, it's a it's a real great mod. Uh, it'll protect your engine. I mean, it's not like your engine's going to go bad immediately or something if you don't do this. But uh, for I get for me, it's a peace of mind thing. Uh, when I'm sitting in heavy traffic, you know, on a hot summer day, I'm not. I know I'm not going to be doing any damage to my engine. So mine is not installed yet. I'm in the process of doing it right now. Um, you can get uh, an oil cooler for the Radian off of the Yamaha. FJ 600 or the FZ 600. Uh, of the two, one of them, and I believe it's the FZ, has the right length oil lines already. So if you get the wrong one, you're going to have to have new oil lines fabricated, like me. And I priced it out, and it's going to be about $80 for me to have that done, which isn't a huge deal, but it would have been nice if I had gotten the right one right off the bat. Um, double check. I'm not sure if it's the FJ or, or the FZ. To double check, go to the, uh, the Yamaha Radian Yahoo News Group and search the archives because the answer is there in the archives. Uh, I just don't recall at this moment which one's which. Um, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and, and get into it. You're in my basement workshop here. I have here on the ground a Yamaha frame, a Radian frame, also known as a Maxim frame, because it's the same frame. Um, I'm not doing a frame off restore. This is my parts bike, uh, which is completely dismantled and um, tucked away in various places in my workshop. And uh, so I've got the frame just kind of sitting around, which is nice because when I'm doing work like this, um, I can work down here in my workshop and test things out on this frame before I go outside and, and Put them on the other one so that's kind of cool um, so here is the oil cooler all right this is what it looks like a little radiator oil lines and the oil filter adapter this piece here uh, will mount between the oil filter cap and the engine except it takes a different oil filter cap. Okay, you make sure you get the appropriate oil filter cap or you could damage your bike or yourself because if you put the Radian fuel uh, oil filter cap on here, it's, it's like what, four inches long or something? So now, and this is maybe two inches, inch and a half. So you're, five, you're sticking out five and a half or six inches and that could interfere with the uh, front tire. Um, even if it's not doing it as soon as you put it on, um, just imagine what's going to happen when your front forks compress and at, at that point um, that would be a real bad time for your front tire or just the fender to contact um, the oil filter. So you'll make sure you get the correct oil filter cap which looks just like the other one except it's this long instead of that long. You know, it's just a little bit shorter. Um, you can see this O-ring here. Uh, that is going to I always get confused. This end goes against the engine, and the other end, the other side of it, has a, has a flat, and the oil filter cover has an O-ring in that that will go against that flat. So there's that. Um, now, mounting it onto the bike. All right, so the oil filter, the oil cooler on the top of it has this post coming off of it and what I did was I took a piece of rubber hose this is a piece of uh, old fuel pipe I think and just cut a piece of it off and it fits on there pretty snugly so that's going to act as a bushing okay so that post is going to go up into this bracket that I made which is right here and I'll show you where this bracket goes so that is going to go up into there, bada bing, right? We're going to come over here to the, to the frame, and I'm going to lift it up so we can see and work better. 
so much easier to work with. <laughs> okay, so on the frame here, all right, so here's the steering head. And right down here, you can see we've got this, this cross member and it's got two holes in it. How convenient. So I'm mounting that to those two holes. And then the top of the radiator will come up into that, um, into that hole. I made this bracket out of a piece of angle iron that I bought from the Home Depot. Just cut it and drilled it and filed it. And uh, this is the result. I could, if I feel like it, I could take this down a lot smaller. I was thinking about removing a lot of the metal in here. Um, just for weight, I mean, you could probably use aluminum instead of steel. I'm using steel. Uh, but I'll probably reduce the weight on this a little bit, as I say. Next up, how are we going to deal with the rest of this? We've got these two mounting holes here on the radiator. So we've got the post at the top and the two mounting holes at the bottom. On the radiant frame, you'll see that there is no, there's no place for those other mounting holes to mount. So my solution to that is behind the radiator here, I'm going to have these, I've got two of these metal pieces of metal uh, flat bar. Uh, I've already drilled one hole. I don't know if that hole is going to stay with me or not. But that will go in between that bracket that I just showed you and, and the frame, right? And it's going to drop down and I'm going to bend it and drill it again and shape it so that it it uh, those mounts can mount to this so i haven't done any i really haven't done much at all with that i i put a slight bend in it once but i need to bend the rest of it and so then that oil filter part will be hanging from these and its post will be up in here so it's going to be able to wiggle around a little bit like that although i may I may ultimately take these pieces and weld them to the bracket, and that'll eliminate any any sliding around I can do. But still, it'll it'll have some ability to to vibrate and stuff. So I am a little concerned about it contacting with my frame as it vibrates like that. I'm going to deal with that as it comes. And the answer may be just be that I build the bracket out further. I can make another bracket and and just have it you know, out a little bit more away from the frame, or I could put washers in or something to get away from the frame. So we'll, we'll work that out later. All right, moving down the line. Our next mounting point. This clamp here, when you buy, this should come with the oil filter when you get it. If it doesn't, you're going to need to make one or buy one. You know, you're going to have to come up with one of these. Because what this does, if I can get it in there, I'm using one hand and I'm not left-handed, so. Ah. I don't know if it's the phone or not, the phone, the camera. Sorry, I don't even know if you can see while I'm doing this, but there we go. So that goes on there, and that's another mounting point. I'm gonna, now I'm going to pull it off of there, and we'll go down to the frame and talk about where I'm going to put, mount that on the frame. Okay, down here on the frame, you might recognize this here. This is your clutch cable goes through there, right? It's behind the headers. We've got these two existing tabs on the frame. So I've made this bracket, I'll show you in a second, I've made this bracket. So those two screw holes that you can see on the back flat there, uh, I drilled them and then I tapped them out so my, my bolts will go directly into this bracket. They're tapped with, you know, I threaded them, I gave them threads so I can screw a, uh, what you call it, into it, the bolt into it. If you can see that. Um, mainly I did that because the hole is so close to the angle, I wasn't going to be able to get a nut onto it. And that's just kind of, you know, so that's kind of the only solution. And that's part of the reason why I went with steel instead of aluminum. 
Um, I don't know if I could get aluminum that's as thick as this. The aluminum square stock that I saw was significantly thinner, so I was concerned about it holding the thread. You know, I didn't want the thing stripping out. So that'll go there. You'll see I I cut this relief into it. Where's my... And that's so... See, this is where the weld is. That thing's welded on there. Um, so... The relief I cut in it allows it to get around that. And then this will just mount on here like this and it'll grab those hoses. It's just that easy. Um, now you may be wondering, I don't have an engine in here and uh, there's headers coming out there and everything else and aren't I concerned with you know possible interference there. Well, I have taken this stuff outside and I've checked it on my complete, you know, running Radian and clearance uh, should not be, will, will not be an issue. And if it is an issue, when I first go out the mat there to mount it, it's not going to be such a major issue that I won't be able to, uh, to work around it, making a little adjustment here, a little adjustment there. Um, I think, I think that about covers it. I mean, next below this mount this comes down and I think I, I already explained how that's going to mount you know in between the oil filter cap and the engine uh, I believe I told you about the length of the these hoses these are too long uh, so yeah I guess we covered it so good luck with your oil cooler modification and uh, ride safely